All right, so I figured to do a little update on the salt water tank, what's going on with it, what I've done differently, and uh, see what you guys think. So as you guys can see, I've added a couple more pieces of live rock. You can see some new fish in there. So uh, I'll start off with where I left off. So I added a piece of Marco rock, which is right here. This is the guy called it. This company sells it. He said it was welded. It's a pretty neat little piece, like a little weird cliff type thing. You can see we have a green star polyp. I've had it for about a, oops, sorry guys. I've had it for about a week or two now. It did not come out. I finally found my uh, T5 light last night. Got it on top and it finally starting to open up again. It's looking good. Uh, we've got a little more bunny in here. They told me they only eat algae. This guy's actually been eating algae, flakes, pellets, pretty much anything I throw in the tank, which is nice. Got a purple dotty back, which is starting to look a lot better now. It had gotten velvet, or has velvet. Okay. Stage of the velvet ick and fin rot. Same with this uh, fish right here, which caused a whole issue. Which is a Kimura Blenny, I believe it was called. So, I bought some live rock at PetSmart. Got home. I took the live rock out of the, like, lifted out of the bag that uh, Paco gives it to you in. And this guy came falling right out of it. He was, so he was a hitchhiker stuck in the rocks. So I acclimated him, the lawnmower blenny, and the purple dotty back together. It looked fine. Things are going smoothly. It's been about a week now. He seemed a little funny and beat up, but none of them were fighting. I figured they were just like stressed because they kept going into the rocks over here in the corner. As you guys can see. But it turns out they had some fin rot and velvet at the beginning of it. So essentially what I did is boosted my heat up to 82 degrees, kind of halted a lot of stuff. I also added a cleaner shrimp right back there as you can see, which has been helping out eat the parasites off. And then for the fin and tail rot, I've been treating with API general cure, I believe it is. And uh, they're doing miraculously a lot better within a day. Took the carbon out, but yeah, they've been doing great. They've opened up their fins again because they were horribly clenched. This guy was doing nothing but hiding. They're doing great so far. It was a little setback, but it turned out to be a nice easy fix where I caught it early enough. We also added a peppermint shrimp in here. I love this little lawnmower bunny. He's so ugly. It's fat. It's beautiful. There's also the goby in here. I don't know where it's hiding. This tank has been cycling now for about three weeks. And as you can see, we have algae already growing on the glass. So, it's cycling pretty well. Ammonia levels, they're really low. Nitrates, really low. Nitrates still like a zero. Everything's doing great. Um, yeah, so other than that issue with the hitchhiker, which kind of screwed things up because you get so stressed out. Tossed around the rocks, I just filmed with a rock and not a fish in there. Which I believe caused a lot of the issue. As you can see now, he's doing a lot better. Enjoying getting some cleanness. But yeah guys, so, so far so good. As you can see, I took the protein skimmer out of the tank. Which has been, eh, I haven't noticed much of a difference to be quite honest. Like the tank's still so new, but it looks a lot better. I have a background, which I haven't had the opportunity to put it on yet because I've been cleaning all day long today. And yeah, so this tank's doing pretty good, it's doing great. Everything's bouncing back beautiful. So thanks for watching guys. If you like it, make sure to subscribe and like it. Um, yeah.